Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here today. So in today's video, I'm continuing on with my home refresh for summertime in my house. And I'm doing a room I don't think I've ever shown here on my channel before. It's my family room slash bonus room, which is up here on my second level. So I was walking by the room the other day and it just looks so sad. It's a room that's been neglected for quite a while. Since the children have moved out, um, it really doesn't get any use and I'm not sure why because it's a great space. So when the kids were here and they were younger, it was their room to go crash with their friends. They could watch a movie. We had it set up so nicely. But since they've moved out, we've kind of just forgotten about it. And it's so sad to me because it's a great room. So I was walking by the other day and I thought, you know what, it's time to clean this room back and you start using it again. It'll be a great room to cuddle up with, you know, um, I have a new granddaughter, so it'll be a great room to cuddle up with her. As she gets older, it can be her little space, her little playroom, a place where we can watch movies together, read books, all that kind of good stuff. It's also gonna be a great room for me when the husband is watching his sports downstairs on our other TV. I can come up here and, you know, watch my Hallmark movies, especially in the fall and Christmas time, cuddle up with a blanket and a good cup of tea and just get really cozy. So that's that's my intent for this room is to just try to make it so much more cozy feeling and welcoming and inviting and a room that we want to live we want to use. I'm also just going to be shopping my home for this room right now to get started on this project. I want to move the furniture around. It's kind of it's kind of got furniture in there that as my husband says we just don't know what else to do with this furniture so we throw it in this room. So I want to move, see if I can move it around, configure it a little better. Um, and then I'm just gonna shop the decor in my home and move some stuff in there to try and bring in that cozy feeling. I am very excited because our stores are just starting to open up right now. And I do wanna get out there and get looking for some new home decor for my home. I wanna do a big purge, so watch for that coming up. I wanna purge some of my current home decor get rid of old stuff and just start getting uh, new things in here and just freshen up my whole house. But for now, I'm just gonna move some things that I have in my home, in other rooms, and try to make this room work. So if these are the type of videos that you enjoy, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And let me know in the comments below what type of videos you guys like to watch. I really wanna bring content to you that is relevant, that you wanna come back and see. And I really wanna bring my channel to that next level. So let me know in the comments below, what do you like to watch? Is it just uh, room decor videos, decorating? Do you like vlogs, grocery hauls, organization? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. So without any further ado, let's get into refreshing my family room slash bonus room for the summer. Here is the current situation of the room right now. It is a really gorgeous room. The slanted ceilings give it a very cozy feeling, but they can be a little bit challenging to work with because you don't have a lot of wall space to work with in here. But we recently painted it and put in fresh carpeting, so it, the room really is almost like a blank canvas. The only problem is all the furniture in here is just a mishmash of things that we really didn't know what else to do with in the house. For instance, the sofa is from my son. He, uh, when he moved into his last apartment, his roommate already had furniture. So he didn't need the sofa. He didn't need the coffee table or the side tables. But the room really has a lot of potential and I think it just needs a little bit of a TLC to make it work. The TV unfortunately has to stay where it is because that is where the cable box is. And this is really what started this whole project. This light fixture was up on the ceiling, but it cast a really terrible yellow hue in the room. So I ran to Lowe's to get some light bulbs, but then I stumbled across this light fixture 
and it was on major clearance. It was originally $104 on for 50% off, and then there was another 50% off that. So I actually got this for $26. Somebody can't do math there, but it was $26. And that's really all I spent on this room refresh. So after clearing out all the little pieces, all the little knickknacks, it was time to start trying to move furniture around and seeing if I could come up with a configuration that would work better in the room. So that's all I'm doing here, but I wasn't feeling it. So I decided to turn my attention to the back side of the room and see if I could make that work. Okay, here's an update. I hated it the other way. So I moved the couch back to its original position and put this table on this side. And then I moved the chair more to the middle so it's not so much on an angle. And I brought back the other table so that it matches with this one. But then I brought in this table that I had in my hallway. I love this table and I'm really torn whether to leave it here or not. I just, I don't like this piece of furniture. I just don't know what to do with it. I just felt it was too bulky back here. Um, so I like the look of this, but let me know in the comments below, do you like this table here? Would you keep it or would you put back and use this antique desk and Maybe I could just use the desk, but not the chair. I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I'm struggling with this room. Um, and none of the furniture is anything <laughs> that I would normally pick, but uh, I think I like this table here. I think I'm gonna work with it here. And then I'm gonna have to go out and get something for each of the corners. I'd like to put like a plants, plants in each of the corners. I think that would look really nice and bring in some greenery here. I took down all the pictures that were in here. I didn't like the frames, so I have to get some new frames. So now I think it's just a matter of dusting things because it gets pretty, it was pretty dusty in here and starting to accessorize. This little table over here, I might use as a plant stand. Um, my grandfather made that for me years ago and I don't know, you can see where our puppy, Gus, when he was a puppy, chewed it all. So I might have to refinish this, but I can just turn it around in a corner. Maybe I'll put it in a corner with another plant over here or maybe use it in one of the other corners. This little chair I love, this was my chair when I was little. It was, um, yeah, it's from when I was little and all my siblings were little, so when my mom moved out of the house, I grabbed it. I think it's just so cute. So I might find a better spot for that in here. But yeah, here's all the uh, pictures down. TV stand, I gotta clean all that up. But I think this looks a little better. I like it without that coffee table over there. But I think I need, I definitely need something in the corner. So I don't know what that is, but I think a plant would do really, really nicely there. But tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Did I make the right decision by moving it back? It just wasn't working the other way for me. But I think this is the way it's got to be. So here we are the next day and I had left the room overnight because I just needed to clear my head and see if I still liked how it was looking. And now I'm just going to bring in accessories that I had in the house in other places and just play with them and see what I can come up with. I am really, really excited because our stores have finally opened up again 
and I'm excited to get out there and see what else I can find. I do plan on looking around for some new things to put in here and in other spots in our home, so that's pretty exciting. I do need new picture frames for family photos. I want to plaster this room with pictures of my little granddaughter. I keep gathering photos, but I need frames for that. And then I brought this wicker tray up. I had put it in my uh, front hall a couple of weeks ago. I loved it on the wall. And I actually got this idea from Dana at Decorating with Dana. And she did it in her front hall. And I fell in love with this idea. And it really does look nice on the walls. So I just moved it up here to give some more texture, a little bit of different texture and some greenery. And then I brought up one of my cushions from my living room because we have so many cushions down there and I wanted some more color in here and it really worked well. And that's the old light fixture and then my husband put up the new light fixture which I love. It brings in so much light into the room. It's so pretty. I didn't turn it on because I didn't want to blind you. So this is on another day and I'm going to give the rug a quick vacuum and now here is the room all completed and I love it. I am so happy I tackled this project because it's a it's a really nice cozy room. Here's Gus. This is actually his favorite room in the house. He loves running around there so he was pretty happy to be to be back in there. I love the cushions, the color it brings in. I love the pops of green in here. The room really is cozy and, in, and it's much more warm and inviting now the way it's set up and all the different accessories. It just feels so much more homey and cozy in here. I brought this plant in from another part of the house, but I'm not sure if he's going to do so well here. So I might have to take him out and I will definitely look for something else for this room. And this is just standing at the other side. You can see how nice and bright the room is now with that new light fixture. I just love it. And then I just brought in this little wicker basket I had somewhere else in the house to hold the remotes. And this floral arrangement was from my living room as well. And I love it in here. It adds that other pop of green that I wanted in here. And then on the bottom of this table is this antique typewriter, which is from my in-laws house as well. And I thought it was a really neat accessory to put in here. It just gives it a little bit of a showcase, but I really do love it in here. And that's it guys, that's my bonus room refresh. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration to tackle a room that maybe you don't know what else to do with. Uh, this was a bit of a challenge for me as well, so I'm happy that I did it. I am pleased with the results and actually I have been using this room since I finished it. It is much cozier to come into and enjoy and the lighting is now really really bright and you can sit in there and read or you can you know just come in work on my computer if i want or just watch tv so it is um, a great extra room for us to have so thanks so much for watching and until i talk to you in my next video i hope you have a great week I'm tired. bye i'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can't.